What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Xavier Night Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Mazel. And in today's episode, we have another 2024 NFL scouting report. And we have our cornerback, Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene is my number two ranked cornerback in this year's class. And I like this kid a lot. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Cooper DeGene, 6'1", 207 pounds. His 2023, 2023 stats. 41 tackles, two interceptions, and five passes broken up. So if you just look at the county stats, some people would say, well, Zay, his his stats aren't the best. I mean, only five passes broken up. Why do you like this kid so much? Well, we're finna get into why I like this kid a lot. So let's get into his strengths, man. I think his first strength, y'all, is his versatility. I think we're looking at a guy, Cooper DeGene, that can play corner. He can play safety. He can also play nickel. And I even think he could play some sub linebacker due to his size and his physicality. So he's extremely versatile as a player. And having a, a chess piece like this that you can move around on defense is going to be very, very, very attractive to some NFL teams um, and to some uh, NFL defensive coordinators. And I know some people don't like this. They don't like when a guy is super versatile. They ready you play, be able just to play one position. Um, but this is a guy, I mean, like I said, he can play corner, he can play safety, he can play the nickel. And I think he can even play some sub line, linebacker for a team if they chose to go in that direction. Man, he's extremely, extremely, extremely versatile. Look at his next uh, next strength. He has great instincts in man and zone coverage. I mean, Cooper DeZine, man, I think he might be the best cornerback in this class, uh, his own coverage, um, yeah, particularly. Now, I think he can improve in man coverage, but he is good in man coverage. And he really, like I said, he uses his instincts well in man his own coverage. He knows how to read the quarterback. He knows how to sit in zone coverage and be patient and wait on the on the route to develop. He doesn't try to jump at the route too early. And that's why you could say maybe his production uh, went down from the uh, 2022 is because I feel like he had a he was better this year. You look at his tape, I feel like he was better in coverage. He was more patient. He just uh, uh, read the quarterback's eyes better in his own coverage. And um, yeah, he, he's really good in man his own coverage. I think he's better in his own. He is man, but he has great instincts in both man his own coverage. Obviously, we know him coming from Iowa man playing for the legendary defensive coach Kirk uh, Ferentz. Y'all know he's one of the best defensive coaches ever, in my opinion, in college football. And so. Cooper DeZane is a really smart player, and he uses that to his advantage in man his own coverage. His uh, next strength, man, he uses his length well to reroute wide receivers. Talk about a dude, like I, like I mentioned earlier, he's 6'1", 207 pounds, has a really, really uh, big frame, good size to him. And when he goes up against corners, y'all, he can absolutely suffocate those guys at the line of scrimmage. I mean, he won't even sometimes – the receiver won't even have a chance to run his route because Cooper DeGene has rerouted him so well. He's been so physical with him. He got his hands on him so early in the route that the play is over, right? And that wide receiver is just basically out of the play. So I love that from Cooper DeGene. You look at some cornerbacks, y'all, they're big, they're physical, they have long arms, but they don't know how to use it well. They, they don't know how to use it to their, advan- to, uh, to their advantage, but he uses his length well. And like I said, if he goes up against a small receiver, that dude pretty much don't have a chance. If he goes up against a receiver that's not physical and that and uh, goes up against a receiver that doesn't like to be jammed at the line of scrimmage, whatever well, receiver does not have a chance, and he's out of the picture. He's out of the play because Cooper DeGene is going to use that limb. He's going to put the hands on him, right? He's going to jam him at the line of scrimmage, and then, boom, that receiver is going to be done. And the quarterback's going to have to look elsewhere because Cooper DeGene would have completely taken uh, the wide receiver out of the play. Love the way he uses his length to reroute wide receivers. You look at his next strength, man. Amazing ball protect, um, excuse me, amazing ball production in his two years as a starter. He has seven INTs, three uh, interception return for a touchdown. I mean, that's really, really good production. He also had 13 passes broken up in, in his two years as a starter. That's great, great, great production, which shows you what, y'all, that even though his production went down a little bit this year, he still has great ball production. He can find the football. He can catch the football. He has good hands. And this is good. And this is a strength. A lot of people think that corners are just automatically supposed to have good hands, but not all of them do. 
So when you find a corner that has good hands, that has good ball production, that can track the football, that can make plays when the ball is in the air, that's absolutely a strength, man. Uh, to have a guy like Cooper Jean that can make game-changing plays, y'all. Game-changing plays because of his ball production. And then he's a really good returner as well. So when he gets the football, I mean, three touchdowns, literally. He had three INT touchdowns in 2022. So that shows you that he also has good ability to catch the football and go finish uh, the play, find the end zone, man. Red of the cornerback does that. So this is a great strength to have. This is, look at his next year, man. He's extremely physical as a player. I mean, as y'all will see, man, there's a lot of corners in this draft class, y'all, that are very, very physical guys. And Cooper DeGene is definitely one of them. This dude is extremely physical, man. Again, playing uh, for a team like Iowa that had the defense the way they did, the Iowa's defense is known for their toughness and their physicality and their, you know, their nastiness. And Cooper DeGene definitely fits that mold. Extremely physical, y'all. Extremely, extremely, extremely physical. And again, this is a big advantage for him because some receivers in the NFL, they don't like this. They do not like when the corner is physical. They don't like when the corner loves to get up and jam them. I know a lot of receivers, man, they love when the corner plays off coverage right there, five, ten yards away from a cool regime. He is too physical for that, y'all. I'll tell you, he is too physical for that. This dude is going to get up in your grill. He's going to come up and tackle you, and he's going to let you know about it. Love this from Cooper DeGene, man. I love, like I said, uh, with my Quentin Mitchell scouting report, I love when my corners are very physical, y'all. I think that is a lot of people don't value that, but I absolutely value that because I think it's important for a corner to be physical. I think it's important for a corner to be able to tackle because this is a passing league, and you have to be able to do that. So I love Cooper DeGene's physicality, and then his last strength, y'all, is his special team's ability. I mean, you're talking about a man that in 2023 had a punt return touchdown. Should have had another one. We know how that game ended. It was a very controversial call, but he should have had another uh, uh, punt return touchdown. But, man, I mean, he has great special team's ability. And we might not see it as much in the NFL because kind of like with Adore Jackson. Y'all remember when Adore Jackson was coming out of the draft and – he man was I was a, you know he some people thought he was a better special teamer than he was corner but you know when he got to the NFL he never ever ever uh, really contributed much on special teams because my Tennessee Titans we were trying to make sure he would find his skills as a corner I think Cooper DeGene, um is going to be like that as well I don't think we're gonna really get to see his special teams ability in the NFL like that but he does offer it if a team decides to go that way a lot of times y'all when a guy you know uh, it, uh, provide special teams value in college once he gets to the NFL he doesn't have the same impact because the team really just wants to and Cooper is already a good corner but they want him to probably just you know continue to get better and better and better as a corner so like I said I don't think we'll see this but this is something that he does have in his bag of tricks now let's move to his weaknesses he doesn't have great recovery speed now I'm not saying Cooper DeGene is slow because I don't think he's slow I think He'll probably run. I mean, looking at the tape, y'all, looking at the tape, he seems like a guy that's going to run probably four or five, which isn't bad, which isn't bad. That's what it seems like. I think he'll probably be four, four, eight to maybe four, five, one or something like that, four, five, two, which isn't bad. But just know if he is going to get a really, 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 really fast receiver, then he could get beat. Because if he cannot, and he does this most of the time, but if Cooper Jean, if he cannot, you know, get his hands on receiver at the line of scrimmage and they get by him, he's really not going to be able to catch back up, especially if it's a really fast receiver because he just does not have, you know, he doesn't have great recovery speed. He's not the fastest guy. So if you do get by him, you're probably going to stay by him, right, because he does not have great recovery speed. Again, I don't look at look at this as too much of a problem because I think he's probably gonna be in a zone based scheme anyways. I think that's what fits him best. But this is a weakness. Look at his next weakness. He's not fluid due to his size. Um, this is not surprising. He is a big guy. He's a bigger cornerback, and most of the time, bigger cornerbacks are not the most fluid athletes. Now it's rare. You look at a guy like Sauce Gardner. Sauce Gardner is very fluid in his movement. He's a very fluid athlete. But this is something that you see with a lot of cornerbacks that are bigger. They're not the most fluid guys. Their movement can look can, can be very, you know, very stiff. And you could be like, oh, I don't like the way they're moving. I don't like the way they're turning. So it, it can be, you know, hit or miss. Again, like I said, 
I think Cooper DeGene, he's best going to be uh, suited to play in a zone-based scheme because if he plays in a zone-based scheme, then this will cover up these weaknesses. But he's not fluid due to his size. He, he very upright in his movement. Again, most corners are. They're not bigger like this. They are. They have a very upright stance. He doesn't get low the way, say, a, a shorter, smaller cornerback can, which definitely gets to cause him problems. But, again, if he's in a zone-based scheme, I wouldn't worry about this too much. And you look at his last weakness for me, he can struggle to turn and flip his hips. His hips can get very stiff. He can get very jerky, um, which is obviously not what you want. And, again, this kind of ties into his size, man. Because he's 6'1", 207 pounds, he just is not – he cannot move the way some smaller cornerbacks can. And that's a problem. Kind of, And Richard Sherman, you know, Richard Sherman was the same way. Richard Sherman did not have the best movement, but Richard Sherman was so darn smart. He he had great instincts, right? He was able to play zone coverage. He was able to read the quarterback's eyes. That that wasn't a problem for him. I think with Cooper DeGene, yes, he can he can struggle to turn and flip his hips at times. And a lot of it is because why he's very upright, y'all. He can't get low. I mean, he's 6'1, 207 pounds, so he can't get low. He doesn't have a low stance. He has a very upright, tall stance. And that is not, you know, a good thing. Um, especially if you're playing that man coverage. Now, zone coverage, that's fine. But if you're playing man coverage, you really don't want to be upright and tall like that in your stance. You better be able to kind of get low. But, again, he is 6'1", 27 pounds. So what can you really expect? But, yes, he, he can't struggle to turn and flip his hips. So let's look at my pro comparison, give you my prospect grade, and then give y'all my conclusion. So my pro comparison for Cooper Design is probably my favorite cornerback in the league right now y'all Jalen Ramsey look at a guy like Jalen Ramsey now, I would say this Jalen Ramsey was more athletic right he was a better athlete he was faster he turned his hips better than Cooper Zine coming out coming out Jalen Ramsey did all those things better but also coming out y'all the draft Jalen Ramsey what, was known for his versatility. He was known for his physicality. He was known for his ability to play man and zone coverage very well, the same way Cooper Zane does. So I think they're very similar as process, man. Jalen Ramsey also could have played safety. Y'all remember, he did play safety at times in college. He also, I think, sometimes they played sub linebacker. So, and like I said earlier, I think Cooper Zane can play corner, he can play nickel, he can play safety. Free or strong safety, he can he can go to sub linebacker and make plays for you the same way Jalen Ramsey could. Y'all remember coming out in 2016, the thing that a lot of us loved about Jalen Ramsey was that versatility that he could play the corner spot, he could play the nickel, he could play in the slot, he could play free or strong safety, and he could play in the box. Why? Because of his physicality, because of his tackling ability. So. That is my uh, pro comparison with Jalen Ramsey. I, or excuse me, for Cooper DeZine, I think it is Jalen Ramsey. Look at my prospect grade for Cooper DeZine, man. I gave him a grade of 91. Great prospect. Could be a consistent pro bowler. As I mentioned uh, early in the video, Cooper DeZine is my number two ranked quarterback in this year's draft class. I have Quinn Yard Mitchell 1 and Cooper DeZine 2. I'm not going to tell you all the rest of my list right now, but I have Quinn Yard Mitchell 1 and I have Cooper DeZine number 2. I think Cooper DeGene, the skills that he has, y'all, he can definitely be a Pro Bowl player, and he's a great prospect right now. So, in conclusion, DeGene is the most versatile cornerback we've seen since Jalen Ramsey. His ability to play man in zone while also being able to play safety give him an incredibly high ceiling. He might not have the special teams value the way he did at Iowa, but he will continue to lock down wide receivers like he did at Iowa. I really believe, y'all, that Cooper Dezean is going to be a really, really good corner at the next level. Again, there are things, and like all these dudes got to work on. There are things that everybody has to work on. There are things that he has to work on. I think for him, if he's in a zone-based scheme, Cooper Dezean is going to be amazing because, like I said, because his hips are a little stiff, because he doesn't have great recovery speed, you really don't want him playing man coverage too much. But, man, if this kid gets in a zone-based scheme, y'all, Cooper Dezean, I think it's going to be very similar, like I said, to Jalen Ramsey. Another guy I think he's going to be similar to Richard Sherman. You know, Richard Sherman played in his own base game uh, for most of his career. I think Cooper Zine it, it definitely has the potential to be a great corner at the next level. And I think he will be because of his size, because of his physicality, y'all, and because of the way he just plays the game. This dude, like I said earlier, he's very, very, very intellectual, man. Very intellectual. 
And a lot of that comes because he played with one of the greatest defensive coaches of all time at the University of Iowa. But I really like Cooper Zinn. He's my number two ranked cornerback in this year's draft class. And I think this kid has everything he needs to become a Pro Bowl cornerback in the NFL. So there you have it. That was my 2024 uh, NFL draft scouting report on Iowa cornerback Cooper DeJean. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, add me on Twitch as Zaymula Sports, all lowercase. Let me repeat, add me on Twitch as Zaymula Sports, all lowercase, uh, as I am starting to live stream over there. Remember, laughter is good medicine, so make sure you get your daily dose. You know I'm going to end it, man. I love y'all. God bless. Put, 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 put.